In today's video, we'll share how to go tide pooling in Lincoln City on the Oregon coast, including where to park, how to find the tide pools, how to check the tide charts to go at the best time, and which creatures you're likely to find in the tide pools themselves. We'll cover two different popular tide pooling locations, Rhodes End State Recreation Site and the Northwest 15th Street Beach Access. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Lincoln City is on the central Oregon coast, about two hours drive from Portland. We'll show you the tide pools at Rhodes End first. Park at Rhodes End State Recreation Site, which is on the north end of Lincoln City. Here's the Rhodes End Beach from the parking area. We visited on a day in mid-February with very taciturn weather, alternating rapidly between sun and rain. I thought the sunlight contrasted against those dark storm clouds was really beautiful. What do you think, Brian? I think the skies are about to open up and pour on us. It turned out that that was a very accurate assessment. But, of course, that's not a reason not to go tide pooling. Just remember to bring your rain gear. It's getting a little bit sunny. Very good. So we think we're heading to the rocks out the end there. That headland is indeed where the tide pools are, and it's called Rhodes End Point. It's about a mile and a quarter walk north along the beach from the parking area. We'd recommend leaving about 25 minutes for the walk. It's also best to arrive at the tide pools about an hour before the tide reaches its lowest point so that you can maximize your time exploring the tide pools when the tide is still relatively low. We'll leave a link to the tide chart website in the video description so you can plan your visit to coincide with a low tide. And we made it! Check this out. I'm really excited to explore the tide pools on all those rocks. The rock formations are really cool. Check these out. We saw a profusion of sea stars, sea anemones, and mussels. These purple and orange sea stars are called ochre sea stars. One of the animals they eat are mussels, so from the looks of it, these sea stars chose a good spot. Sea stars' mouths are on the underside of their bodies, so they wrap their arms around a mussel and pry it open, and their stomach actually comes out of their mouth and into the mussel shell, where it begins to digest the mussel. So, they may look peaceful, but that's a little gruesome. Part of the magic of tide pooling at Rhodes End is that around the headland there is a secret beach that can only be accessed at low tide. A caveat, if you go, be careful on the slippery rocks and make sure you get back before the tide comes back in. The other good tide pooling spot in Lincoln City is right in town at the Northwest 15th Street Beach Access. Those rocks right across from the entrance are the tide pools. While you're in the area, be sure to check out these other nearby things to do. Oh, 
So what do you think? I can't believe we just found this because we've been looking in really obscure areas and it's right out in the open just in the sand. It's amazing. Thanks for watching Adventures with Holly and Brian. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more of the best of the Pacific Northwest and beyond. See you next time.